That bright pink smoothie you bought yesterday and those orange circles on your walls, were those just random or is there something bigger behind them? Turns out the colors you choose can help define your mental age. You'll have 15 questions and four options for each of them. Keep track of your points, notes on your phone will do just fine and find out the results at the end of the test. Ready? Let's go! Which of these would you choose as your happy color? If the color of the sun is your choice, add one point to your score. Will you go with pink? It brings you three points. Does green make you happy? You just earned two points. Want to go with white? It makes me happy too. Get your four points now. Which of the colors looks the saddest to you? If it's going to be black, you get four points. Settled on gray, it costs one point. Is it going to be burgundy? Your score has just gone up by three points. If dark blue makes you sad, add two points to your score. Which of the colors seems most inspiring? In case looking at the color white brings you some inspiration, you get four points. Does orange help you get new ideas? Add one point to your score. Is it going to be light green? You sure deserve three points. Want to go with lavender? Then you've got two points. What a beautiful image. What color did you see here first? If purple is the first color you see here, add three points to your basket. In case yellow catches your eye, you sure deserve one point. Want to go green? All right, here are four points for you. Those who see pink here first and foremost, grab two points. There's no correct answer here, so let me know what you think. What's the dominant color here? If you think yellow rules this image, you get two points. Is orange your choice? One point is coming your way. Does this mostly look black to you? Here you go. Three points are yours. If you mostly see blue here, you definitely deserve four points. You're choosing a new car. What color car would you never go with? In case you think magenta is too bright and would draw too much attention to you, you get three points. Does white seem like too much work to do in terms of cleaning? Four points are yours. Those who don't see themselves driving a black car because it would just be too boring, you get one point. And if you would never go with a golden car because you find it too tacky, I don't blame you. I give you two points. If your life was a movie, would it be... A western, you know, the one with all the sepia and a lot of action going on. A good old black and white romance. That movie where emotions are brighter than colors and that spirit of the past is unbeatable. A fun cartoon, bright colors, cool characters, hilarious situations. That's the life. Some science fiction about life in the distant future. High tech, mysterious tunes and colors. So if you want to go with a Western, add three points to your basket. A black and white movie brings you four points. Cartoon fans get one point. If you're for science fiction, add two points to your score. Time to redecorate your house. Pick a color for the walls in the living room. Gray. Classy, minimalistic. Sound like you? Here are three points to add to your score. If you'd prefer something bright like Tiffany Blue because everything else seems too boring, you've just got two points. If beige is your definition of style and comfort, you win four points. 
In case you can't settle for just one color and would rather paint your walls in different bright colors, add one point to your score. How about adding some works of art to that beautiful living room? Would you put some family and friends photos on the walls? Grab your well-deserved four points. Gonna go with some sculptures? That's original and brings you three points. If you can't imagine your walls without some abstract paintings, you get two points for your choice. If you'd rather paint directly on the walls, add one point to your score. Now, what colors will you pick for the bedroom? Is it going to be all about wood? Add three points to your basket. If a white bedroom is your choice, you get four points. A dark gray bedroom brings you two points. If that colorful dotted pattern will make you happy, add one point to your score. You decided to write a book. What will the cover look like? If it's going to be an old-school leather cover, I'm happy to give you three points. Will you go with a romantic cover? Four points are coming your way. Would you rather choose a minimalistic design? Here are two points for you. Fancy a collage of newspapers and magazines? You get your one point for that idea. Which color combo would you never choose for your outfit? If the black and white is never your choice, add three points to your basket. Orange and yellow don't go together, do they? Add two points to your score if you don't think they do. Would you ever go for brown? At least take one point from me. If green and purple don't match your mind, add four points to your score. We all need a good break from time to time. Which of the landscapes would you call the most relaxing? If your heart belongs to the mountains, add three points to your score. In case the view of a big city at night helps you calm down, you get two points. Do you find the white winter landscape the most relaxing? You get four points. Do you feel most relaxed looking at sunsets? Add one point to your basket. Getting a bit hungry from all those questions? Pick a dessert. Are you a red velvet kind of person? Your passion brings you three points. If brownies are your dessert for life, grab four points. Cinnamon roll fan, two points are coming your way. Can't say no to a milkshake? Here's your one point. And here comes the final one. If your current mood was a color, what would it be? If it's gray or black, you get three points. Four points will land in your basket if you pick any pastel color. You get one point for anything neon. Polka dot mood brings you two points. All right, it's time to do some big math. Sum up all your points and I'll tell you about your mental age. So, those who scored 15 to 25 points, you're still mentally under 18. You have the heart of a rebel. You're always up for crazy adventures, experiments, and deep inside, you hope someone else will take care of all your problems. Financial planning, not your favorite activity. In case you ended up with 26 to 37 points, your mental age is between 18 and 24. You're still deciding what you want to do when you grow up. Friends and parties are an essential part of your life. You want to try everything life has to offer and routine is a really scary concept for you. Is your final score somewhere between 38 and 49 points? You're mentally 25 to 45. You're at that mental age when you can already call yourself an adult and enjoy every day. 
You have some experience and know yourself better. Your life is going at a settled pace and you love it this way. If you came to the finish line with 50 to 60 points, your mental age is over 45. Friends often ask you for advice because you always know a solution to any life situation. Your comfort, both physical and psychological, means a lot to you. You know how to say no and don't try to be in two places at the same time anymore. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.